All right, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, we are doing the Melt Cosmetics Vita palette. Um, the Unicarton and the actual palette itself has this beautiful uh, Day of the Dead type skull and these beautiful flowers. I'm obsessed with the packaging. Um, we'll talk about this palette briefly. It's $58. Um, let me take the plastic off. You're getting all of these beautiful shades right here. You're getting greens, browns, orange, and then a nice uh, big reddish pink shade. Um, all these colors speak to me. I love green eyeshadow. If you guys don't know that, I love it. So that's probably what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm going to just, uh, this is my first impressions and a review. I've tried Melt uh, product eyeshadows before, so I just want to see if um, this palette's consistent as well. Um, as always on my eyes is my MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour eye base. Uh, so, uh, let's just grab some brushes and let's do this. So I'm going to hop into my Tarte palette just for my under brow color. And I'm going to use the Sigma E25 brush. I'm going to go into that color called Sand. I'm going to pick up a new brush. This is going to be the Luxie to uh, 31 small taper brush. I'm gonna go into this palette. Um, so I am most likely going to be using the first color I'm gonna start with. It's actually going to be, I think this lime green. I'm gonna start right here with it and see how it builds up and how it goes. So if I need to add more. It is a pretty lime green. I'm going to move on doing my MAC 217 brush. <clears throat> I'm going to go into this kind of light brown shade here. Focus on that outer to middle area of my eye. I'm going to get an even smaller brush. This is the Luxie 237 Blending Brush, this little tiny guy here. I'm gonna go into this kind of brownish green. I guess it would be like a, like an army-ish green. And we're gonna do that on the outer edge. Working it up. I'm sorry, a 221 brush. Um, and we're gonna go into that darker brown shade right here. I believe it's Chocolate interesting names on some of these. They're hard to pronounce, but that's all right. Focusing my just on the outer edge. So now we're going to go into this dark um, green. It's the only metallic looking shade in this particular palette. We're going to go with a flat synthetic brush and hope that it picks up. If not, I'll just spray it. Quite a bit of fallout. All right, guys, so with the magic of YouTube, I have um, almost all my makeup on. We're gonna finish doing this eye look. Um, I just wanna do a little bit under the eyes and then inner tear duct. Um, I'm gonna hop into this bright yellow. It is different than the lime green. I know it doesn't seem like it, but it is. We're gonna pop that right in the inner tear duct just with my ring finger here. Um, I think in my waterline, I'm gonna do this lime green. I'm gonna grab an ankle brush. I'm gonna grab this flat uh, synthetic brush from MAC. It is a 212, I believe. We're gonna go right in the waterline with this lime green. Right, and because I think it would be fun, I'm gonna do some like lime green mascara on the bottom. I have the MAC one. Um, this is called Hottie with the Bobby. <laughs> That's fun color from MAC. It's a little bit of a different lime green, but I think it'll be cool. So that completes the look with the Melt 
Vita palette my thoughts so this palette's $58 you're getting a reasonable amount of shades in here um I said it before about Melt Cosmetics I like their products but I think they're kind of expensive for what you get I haven't been like super wowed by anything um I think a lot of these are dupable in my collection already which is kind of a shame um I'm not really sure now, if for you, if you don't have um, these types of shades and you love the packaging, then by all means, definitely get this. But for me, um, I think it's actually going to be a pass, which makes me so sad because I absolutely love the packaging and I, I, I do love the brand. I think the brand is a wonderful brand, um, the two ladies, the creators of it. Um, but I just, there's nothing special about the eyeshadows for me. Um, to be honest, the lime green didn't really blend very well and it wasn't very pigmented. And then chocolate, that dark brown didn't really even blend at all, which is like no good. And I, I kicked some of it off and I even tried to like blend it with another color. It just got a little muddy for me. I didn't really care for it. Um, and then the lighter brown wasn't like, didn't add enough depth. So I don't know, maybe it was just my color selections, but I kind of feel like they didn't work super great together. Looks beautiful um, in the pans, of course. However, I just wasn't super impressed with the overall um, look I created. I wasn't even really impressed with how they performed either, which is very sad because like, I really like this company, but I just, I'm not wowed. Maybe because I have so many other eyeshadows and I have um, so many things similar to this. Really what wowed me is the packaging and that's um, what made me want the palette. So if you're someone who has a smaller um, eyeshadow collection and you could use these colors, then definitely pick it up for me. It's definitely going to be a pass. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. As always, please like this video, comment down below, hit that notification bell. I post a new video every Tuesday. In my description box will be my Instagram, where you can follow me for daily posts, and my website, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.